the next championship match we're seeing here tonight is going to be for the CKW Chaos Championship. Juan Tanamo, the champion, who survived that ladder match back at, I believe it was Eternal Fire, retained the title at Halloween and that extreme everywhere, all out, extreme rules, fall town anywhere match against the former champion Nick Dragoon. He took a show off at Rage in the Cage, and now him and his partner, his friend, Cody CW, are going to go at it tonight in a Falls County War match. Cody's like, your next match needs to be against me. I want a shot against you fair and square, one-on-one, -on -one, and as you know, friends, as tag team partners, we'll go out there and tear the house down, and one of us will walk out with a title, whether I win it from you or you retain it against me. I want my one-on-one -on -one match against you, and they set this match up, contract, signing, and all backstage, to go out here tonight at Anarchy, friend versus friend, tag partner versus tag partner. Let's get it on. In this match, oh my god. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match. And it's yep. for the Continental Impact Wrestling Hardcore Championship. In Baltimore, Maryland, the Royal Farms Arena. Beautiful Baltimore, Maryland. It's gonna <laughs> there this this show has been great so far. And we have Cody CW has made a has made a name for himself since you know debuting at the tail end of season one. He wrestled in a few house shows. He showed up in that eight man ladder match for the Chaos Championship. His goal since he started has been to acquire the Chaos Championship, and he still hasn't done it yet. But his his tenacity, his determination, uh, it's not going anywhere. He's still been trying to win this belt. And that's why he's been wanting this match against Juan Tanamo here tonight. One on one. Oh my god. This is going to be friend versus friend, partner versus partner here tonight. No. No, no breaking up of a team, no nothing. They just want to go out there, tear the house down, and see who truly should be that champion. One <clears throat> Tanamo. Debuted back last season during the American tour. Has had many matches, ups and downs, wins and losses. Has finally won his first ever championship in that ladder match when he climbed up there and got the Chaos Championship. And he had a hellacious fight that led to the parking lot with Nick back at Halloween. Let's see how well this goes. Introducing the challenger from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Cody C.W. And introducing the champion from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 245 pounds, he is the Juan Here we go, folks. This is going to be a fight. And one of these men will walk out with that championship. Let's see who it is. Oh, he catches the kick. Nick, I mean Nick, Cody catches the kicker. Oh, and a running tackle sends down Cody. Well, happy enough, he's trying to end the match early. But it's not even a one count. Nick, I mean Cody, I keep saying Nick here. 
Nick has watched. All I know is Nick has been wa is watching this match closely backstage. He wants, and he's been on record. He wants his Chaos Championship back, and he's watching for whoever wins this match because I can almost guarantee he's going to call them out. He slams him in there, and he catches him with that running clothesline. And up goes Cody for a diving elbow drop, which missed the target a little bit. He hit, like, Juan on the back of the head, but almost hurt himself in the process. Throws him. And a running clothesline sends down Juan. Oh, but, oh no, but a reversal. The adrenaline is kicking in for these two. And now we got a headlock. He's trying to make him tap out. But no, no, no. Drops him. Jawbreaker frees him from that submission hold. And catches him with an insiguri that, oh my god. He literally ate that. And then catches Cody with a some sort of drop him to the mat move. And he gets back in the ring. He's, he was recuperating there for a second. But, but Cody gets up. And Cody reverses it. Ball's coming anywhere, folks. Oh, he kicked him. But missed him with that kick, apparently. Throws him into the turnbuckle. Oh, drops him with that DDT. He catches him. He catches him. Oh, he hits him with that and goes over. Car! But no, the Kyler gets reversed. The adrenaline was kicking in. He caught him with that kick. No. Juan. Thought that would win him the match. And he catches him. Drops him head first. Catches the reversal, clotheslines him into the turnbuckle. Holy crap. Starting to choke him out there. <coughs> For two people that are not, you know, just friends and partners, he's going at it, whatever it takes to win that title, apparently. No love lost. Throws him into the turnbuckle. And he catches him on the turnbuckle. What in the world is Cody going for holy Jesus Christ he's going up top he has him on the thing oh the knee holy Jesus Christ he literally just dropped his knees <coughs> into Juan's gut trying to injure him in the process it looks like will that be able to be enough for him to win the championship He's going for the pen. One, two. No, he got out of it, barely got out of it the last second. Look at Cody's face. What's he, he's wondering what he has to do to keep Juan down here. No weapons at all in this match so far. It's literally just them brawling, throws him outside the ring. Cody. Telling one to get up. Telling one to get up as he goes for a double axe handle. Sends him up the ramp. Cody, he seems a little angry right now. He wants to win that championship. And he thought that knee breaker move would finally win him the match. The wine kicked out like a 2.8 count there. And they're fighting. Anything could happen. Oh, the drop kick misses. Oh, but that drop kick sure as hell didn't. No. Cody gets up. Throws him over. And he's signaling for him. He wants to take this match backstage. Look at Cody. He's just walking back there. And Juan's following him. Oh, 
Holy Jesus Christ, what the hell? They just want to keep fighting this backstage. This is gonna this is turning out just like Halloween with Nick. Oh, right off. Knee first. Right off that trash can. But no, he reverses it. He drops him to the mat to the well, I keep saying Matt here. They're fighting in the back now. What in the world? He's got his legs wrenched up. Oh, he's trying to break his legs in half. Where'd the referee go? The referee just disappeared. It's supposed to be a false anywhere match. Where the hell did the referee go? Drop kick. Who's gonna make the pin? They're fighting backstage. And he's got him in an arm bar. And almost twisted in half. Holy Oh! Head first, like literally into that trash can as he got up. Reversal sends him flying across. There's the referee. Is that the same referee? I have no idea. We got a bunch of different referees just running around this arena right now. Holy crap, he's got a chair. He's got the chair. Oh! He is going. This is the first weapon used in this match. He's just trying to destroy him at this point. Oh, and that drop kick sends him falling almost into the wall there. I think he went face first off that wall. Oh, but no. He, he's trying to get some distance. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh! Holy Jesus! He went. He slammed him head first. Holy crap. How the hell he survived that? I have no idea. He went like back head first into that little stand there that's just fidgeting all over the damn place now. What the hell? He's lifting it up. What's he gonna do with that? Oh! He literally broke. Could have broke. Holy crap. It's just fidgeting all over the damn place now. This place is haunted. He caught him. Arm. Oh! Arm bar. No, it did not work. Ooh. Into the... Whatever that is. Little canister... Container trash, whatever. Drops some DDT with the arm. Puts him in an arm bar. Trying to break it in half. The referee's there. There's some wrestler being interviewed backstage just for whatever the hell reason. <coughs> and he's just punching him. And destroying him. He's signaling he wants this to end. And he has him up. Has him up. Spins in him up. Gunner! Cody, I don't know how the hell his momentum kept him going. Would that be enough? Literally, Juan doesn't know what to do. Cody's like half dead. But Cody like dropped on his face, dropped on his head. His head smashed off that trash can back there. His head smashed off that little table thing that just fell over. And off the wall. Off that drop kick. Oh. These two. Oh, right off the wall, face first. By Cody. Who then throws him face first into the locker room backstage. Cody. Cody's half dead. Juan's half dead. I don't know if Cody Juan could have won that match, but he was What the hell? His foot got caught on the damn locker. I don't know how the hell that happens, folks. 
He's just tossing them all over the place. He's pissed right now. Cody kicks him. Super kick into the... Oh, jeez. Christ. Will that be enough? One, One two, two, three. three. Oh my god, we have a new champion. Koei CW wins the Chaos Championship, but what's this going to do between him and Juan? What started off as a, a competitive, friendly match turned into a hellacious fight backstage where they literally almost tried to kill one another. Where is this going to go forth going forward? But one thing's for certain, Cody CW is the new CKW Chaos Champion.